Hey there folks, Gary Bradley from Creative Frontiers here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can crop and rotate any image inside of Adobe Photoshop. And to be fair this is a real toughie. This image started as a digital download, I then printed it out and then scanned it in and um, well I scanned it in not particularly well, on purpose of course um, and that's why we have a white background around the outside. And it's also upside down inside of Photoshop as well. So we can actually do all of this work with a crop tool. But before I do so, I need to make sure that I've got a good clear view of the image and the outside area beyond the canvas to utilize the crop tool effectively. So I've got my mouse set up with a scroll wheel so it will allow me to just rock the mouse forwards and then zoom out ever so slightly. And I can also hold down the space bar to pan and then get that in the middle of my image window. From here, I'll need to activate the crop tool, which is here. And then in terms of the options at the top, we have ratio, which will allow us to alter the width and the height as we need it for this specific image. Other options in there will be set to things like um, photographic sizes, like five by seven, and they will restrict the ability for us to be able to crop this effectively. So we'll stick with ratio. And indeed, if you have any values in the two fields to the right hand side, these would indicate a specific width or height. They need to be cleared out as well. And you can do that by deleting them or you can literally click on clear and it will clear both fields out. From here, I definitely need to have uh, delete crop pixels turned on because the white serves no purpose. And then I'll take my cursor to the top left corner of the crop frame, click and hold down the mouse and drag and pull it closer towards the photograph. I'll do the same at the bottom right hand side. So I get the crop frame kind of roughly the same size as the photograph. And then from here, well, you'll notice that we have a shield around the outside. You can alter that shield color. If it's a little bit too light, you can alter it. If I go up to the settings up here and you can change the color, not to match the canvas, but you can set a custom color. And that one's set to a dark color in here. You get the color picker that pops up on screen. I'm happy with the dark color in there. I click okay. And then I tend to set the opacity to about 50%. As I say, if you're happy with the lighter color of the shield around the outside, then you can leave these options in your set to their defaults. But if I press return, I can now see a darker area on the outside. From here, then the toughest edit is to rotate the frame around. So if I hover my cursor on the outside of the crop frame, you'll see the rotate symbol. You'll then need to click and hold the left mouse button down and then kind of literally rotate your cursor around in a clockwise fashion. Notice that the frame stays at the same angle, but it's the image that spins around in the background. And then from here, I want to try and match the edge of the image to the frame. And the trouble here is that the grid is set to a rule of thirds. Now, that's good for composition, but if I go up to the grid drop down menu and change it to something called grid, you'll see finer grid lines in here. That will help you gauge whether or not the frame matches the angle of the image. And from here, then, probably do need to hover on the outside and then just rotate a touch in there to get that to the right kind of angle so around here I'm just using that grid line that runs down the side of the image in there to gauge that and then from here I, I wouldn't suggest going to the corners because you have to tweak and fine-tune two edges at the same time which is quite tricky go to the edge handles pull them up make sure you don't run to the very edge of the image and risk including some of the white background Yes, you're going to lose some of the pixels that are inside of that um, image in there, but it's better to trim away a little bit of the photograph than risk some of the background colors being left inside of there. And just one at a time, clicking and dragging and pulling those in like so. I'm fairly happy with that. And with that done, I'll go up to the top and commit the changes. And then Photoshop applies all those edits first. We now get an image which is cropped away. It's at the right kind of angle. And that, folks, is how you crop and rotate anything inside of Adobe Photoshop.